أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا محمد عبده ورسوله إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلم تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد الفاتح لما أغلق وقرأت لما سبق ناصر حق بحق وحادي إلى صراطك المستقيم وعلى آله حقا قد نقدار العظيم الحمد لله رب العالمين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته um, I'm very happy to be here with you again on our book report and today we are looking at a new book which is called Illuminating the Darkness Blacks and North Africans in Islam by Habib Akandi Now first of all, to be honest with you, I'm not sure about the use of the word black I think Africans would better describe the people but you know, that, you know that's something to, to take in, that's just me anyway when I was reading it I was thinking actually it should have just been Africans and not blacks Anyway, um, uh, Habib Akandi is a new author and just a little bit about him Habib was born in London, England and he graduated in Kingston University with a first class BA honours degree in business and film studies after his graduation, Habib travelled to Cairo, Egypt, in pursuit of studying traditional Islamic sciences. He's a student of the Malik Maliki School of Fiqh. Habib studied Arabic, Islamic law and Islamic history at Al-Azhar High School and University. So, alhamdulillah. This is published by Taha Publishers, who have published many other good books. One of the most memorable is Dejao by Ahmed Thompson. Which is this is an important book. Um, even though we have moved forward in many ways as an Ummah, we have also taken steps back in other areas. One of these areas is definitely racism. And it's something that a lot of Muslim scholars and Imams like to shy away from. When really this is something that we should be dealing with. And especially teaching the youth so that they move forward without any um, racism and understand that uh, the Prophet وسلم, understand his last sermon where he said there's no better no one is better there's no one who's better between an Arab and a non-Arab or a black and a white and the best of them is the one that is the most pious the one that has taqwa this is something that was in the Prophet's last sermon but it's something that um, we need to take on and remember and keep you know, in the front of our mind that actually we don't judge people by the colour of their skin, but we judge them by their actions and how pious they are. So um, this book is a very valuable book. Um, it's a good introduction into the topic about Africans and their great contribution to Islamic history. Uh, it also touches on the history of racism and prejudice in Islam. Habib also mentions a lot of great scholars of the past who have defended the Africans and expressed their importance in Islam um, for those who are ignorant and those who used to abuse them. Um, I, I found this book captivating and very interesting. Uh, it touched on great African scholars of the past. Uh, I found these valuable, but I found these uh, uh, biographies of them too brief. A little more information on them would have been absolutely great. Okay, so, you know, some more information. Because sometimes there's only, you know, about 100 words by one of these scholars. But more information about them would have been absolutely, you know, brilliant. Also, uh, I think, you know, it missed out on some great scholars, you know, including, you know, Sheikh Ahmed Bamba of Senegal. And also, most importantly, you know, Sheikh Ibrahim Nas, you know, of Kolat Medina who is still having a great impact on Muslims today all over the world, not only um, in Africa, Africa, Arabia, and also in the West, you know, here in the UK, America, all of the West. So it would have been good to have those scholars and others mentioned um, in the book. Um, I think this book will start a process of erasing some of the unfortunate misconceptions of Africans in Islam and also it can help those reading to gain knowledge about our great contribution to Islam because we've made a, mashallah, a massive brilliant contribution now uh, I, I like sort of like the way it ended 
you know, which sort of, I think, sums it up. So I thought I'd just read it to you. Islam does not look at an individual's complexion, ethnicity or form. Indeed, what is recognised in the deen is a person's moral conduct and obedience towards Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, the great and majestic. Truly, the noblest person and the best amongst mankind is the one with the most taqwa. An impious person has no honour or superiority, even if he's a descendant of a noble lineage. So the best of us are the ones who have taqwa, who fear Allah most, who are best to the people. MashaAllah, Alhamdulillah, Bilal Amin. So this is a very interesting book. You can actually get it on Amazon, um, Illuminating the Darkness by Habib Al-Kandi. Assalamu alaikum, wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.